Capricorn, what a month, what a month, what a month. Ooh, Capricorns, but, 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 Capricorns, it's, it's, it's drama. <laughs> you're ending, you're taking down something and you're ending something. Capricorns, oh my God, I have never seen this, but it's as if you are clearing up something. Because if you notice, um, there was no balance. It is the um, the season of balance, but there was no balance this timeline and this season is that you Capricorns are raging and using your power in order to create some sort of a um, ending, some sort of a deceptive play that was transpiring. The heartbreaks that a lot of you Capricorns was going through because of a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion person that has been very deceptive. I know I'll see um, heartaches for this person. So a lot of you Pisces was, um, Kansas. Oh, so whatever question you asked first, it was a Pisces. Whatever you, uh, question you asked the second was a Cancer. So what is happening and transpiring? Um, Capricorn, this is a very alarming reading. And you Capricorn have to be, um, careful in a business and work. Um, and in career, because I see that a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion person was trying to create some sort of a problems and issue, and you're um, going to be ending this. Uh, so it's like someone tried to ruin your reputation. Whoever the Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion person is trying to ruin your reputation, and I see you are standing your ground and you're rebalancing it, okay? Who are you dealing with? You're dealing with a Virgo. Um, you are dealing with bringing out the truth uh, um, and showing up uh, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion woman who are lying. I see heartbreaks is coming up uh, um, in the, the third week. And I see um, you are heartbroken, but in the fourth week, you're taking down and handing some sort of a conflict and showing up some sort of a deceptiveness of a Leo. I see they recognize what a Sagittarian person have done. They, they, were, they recognized that a Pisces Cancer Sagittarian woman um, had collaborated together in order to create a whole lot of problems and issue. So let's look at the situation. You are coming in in this time period. And remember, these are timeless readings. Please share, 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 like, share these readings. Um, all right. So. Um, this period that you're coming in, it has to do with uh, um, the energy of Saturn, okay? This energy of Saturn is coming in and it is, has to do with uh, you um, balancing out situation, okay? Where situation had gone array. However, the situation had gone array it is as if someone was raining on you Capricorn's parade. Someone was just raining on your parade. And I see you take it back because whoever the Sagittarian is, so um, it can be a Sagittarian and a Virgo that was raining on your parade. And I see you are going to be taking down these people and these situations. So I said that you are dealing with a Sagittarian. Yes, you're dealing with a Sagittarian. And whoever the Sagittarian is, that has created a whole lot of problems and an issue for you, you're taking down the Sagittarian. So the temperance energy is the energy of the Sagittarian. And whatever the Sagittarian has done, you are regaining your balance and you're showing up for yourself. And you are making sure that the Sagittarian will never affect you moving forward. Because whoever the Sagittarian is and whatever the Sagittarian has done, the Sagittarian has created a whole lot of chaos. So for a lot of you Capricorns, and you are now regaining stability by bringing it into the Sagittarian and balancing out your situation and your life. A lot of you are dealing with the Queen, um, the Queen of Cups, whether this Queen of Cups this is a Pisces Cancer, um, Pisces Cancer, Scorpion, but this person is coming up as a Cancer. So you're dealing with a Sagittarian and a Cancer. Some of you is a Cancer, some of you is a Scorpion. Um, whoever this person is, is really devious and deceptive. Okay. So, um, um, this person is really carries the energy of a lot of secrets and a lot of, uh, um, a very emotional person. Um, some of you, it could be you being emotional in the first week because you recognize what a Sagittarian has done. And, uh, um, 
it could be you trying to rebalance a situation in the first week but you're using emotion um but practical balancing out some sort of a situation the sword of truth um is here and whatever um, um a cancer have done a tower moment is coming down on a cancer and i see they recognize that a cancer had lied they recognize now that a cancer had lied whoever this cancer woman is and whatever that was transpiring they have documents and data and information and recognize that a cancer had lied whoever this cancer is there is really um this cancer had created a whole lot of devastatedness for a lot of you capricorns in your life and they're now recognizing um, and some of you Capricorns could be showing up the lies and deceptiveness of a cancer and um, this this honorable uh, situation where a cancer has tried to uh, dishonor you in some sort of a way and ruin your reputation. And I see now they recognize that the cancer has been lying. OK, so this is a serious situation because I see um, they're going to be taking down this um, person. Because they recognize that the information and the communication that this person, the Ace of Swords, uh, um, this is the element of power of hair, this Ace of Swords. And this Ace of Swords is about the communication um, of uh, how someone communicates. So it's about intellect, but it's about understanding and it's about deceptiveness. Okay. And um, this is showing up that a cancer person or a Pisces Cancer Scorpion person at light because they have information and data and it's showing up that this person was not being honest, okay? In the third week, the Three of Swords is here and the energy of the Three of Swords has to do with Saturn in Libran. They're coming down on a Libran. They're going to be firing a Libran because they recognize. I see grief. I see grief for a Cancer, a Pisces Cancer Scorpion woman and grief for a Libran. Saturn is in Libran is that they're recognizing and there's grief, grief, sorrows, loss, some sort of a grief, sorrows, loss. And it is Saturn in a Libran. And um, some of you could be losing some sort of a legal case in the third week, whatever is happening and transpiring. I see a whole lot of you um, could be losing some sort of a legal case in the third week. Um, but you know, when we're looking at, at the situation, it is ha it have to do with a, um, Pisces cancer, a scorpion woman is going to be losing an, um, a case, a Leo and a Libran and a Sagittarian. So when you look at this reader as the people that you're dealing with, okay. And, uh, some of you might lose. But some of you, it is looking as if a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion person, a Libran, a Sagittarian that you're dealing with, because a Sagittarian is the one that created a whole lot of issue in your life, and uh, a Leo. So you are dealing with uh, these people on the work floor that has created some sort of a deceptiveness and has dragged you in this undesirable, deceptive situation. And here you are trying to resolve it, okay? So in the third week, the third week is going to be some sort of a loss for a Sagittarian and some sort of a loss for a Cancer. They recognize what this Cancer and the Sagittarian have done, okay? Then um, you're dealing with the five of ones. You're bringing a conflict to an end, you decided that this conflict is no longer, you're ending this conflict. It's a half year that you're in and you're ending this conflict, okay? So this five of wands is the energy of Saturn in Leo. Um, an end is coming up for a Leo and heartbreaks is here for a Leo and a Libran. Um, they recognize what a, um, a Cancer, um, Pisces Cancer, a Scorpion person, a Libran and a Leo have done and a Sagittarian and the deceptiveness, it is all coming out. They are now recognizing the unfair gains of these people. So Saturn in Leo, a lot of you Capricorn is going to be taking down a Leo. Okay, you are not, you're not holding back on the sword. You're taking down this Leo because you recognize that this Leo has created a whole lot of chaos 
chaos for you guys and you're taking down this Leo. Now, the Seven of Swords uh, is about you expressing that a theft was created. They're going to be recognizing that these people had created some sort of a um, theft, okay? Because the Seven of Swords is about the expression of a theft in the night and cautioned us by being on the lookout because um there you know it is now going to be coming out that there was some sort of a trickery a sagittarian a scorpion a um libran and a leo has created um some sort of a tricky situation okay and the key words um with the seven of swords is about theft deceptiveness okay in humanitarian so, you know, you do something against another human on the really deceptive way. So, moon in Aquarian and the energy of the moon in Aquarian is that they're going to be recognized the false eyes and deceptiveness, the secrecies, because an investigation is going to be taking place. And they're going to be recognizing that a Sagittarian, a Scorpion woman, and a... um a Sagittarian, a Scorpion woman, a Libran, and a Leo. And you're going to be, I see heartbreak for this Leo. This Leo is really down and heartbreaks because they recognize what this Leo has transpired. Um, the energy of the Nine of Wands is about uh, um, the secrecy of a Sagittarian. So they're finding out the secrecy of an Aquarian. They're also finding out the secrecy of a Sagittarian and I see a tower moment is coming down so it's as if um you know whoever these people are because it's uh, the nine of ones in a reverse and it is a situation where the nine of ones has the energy of uh, patient perseverance and resolution and you're resolving a situation because the moon in Sagittarian is about a Sagittarian that had a lot of secrets this is also coming out and then we had the seven of swords and that energy is the moon in Aquarius. So an Aquarian and a Sagittarian, their secrets are going to be coming out. And um, the three of swords is uh, the um, Libran, the, yeah, the Saturn in Libra. So they're going to be recognizing that a Libra has lost grief for a Libra in the third week. And a Libra has lost because they're not, they're not recognizing what this Libra has done. Number 77 is here. Um, um, the number of number 77 is as if uh, that energy of 77 is coming up and is advising you and alerting you to something. Now, when we look at the seven of ones, energy is Mars in Leo. And um, whoever this Leo person is, I see heartbreak for this Leo person because it's in the reverse. And they're recognizing that this Leo person has created a huge deceptive theft. Um, whatever is transpired, they're not recognizing um, the, co the corrosion with a Sagittarian um, and a Leo and what a Sagittarian and a Leo has done. So it is um, it's as if you Capricorns are going to be caught up in the situation and you're going to be like, no, I'm going to be advising as, as exactly what I'm transpiring. And you Capricorns um, definitely is dealing with a Sagittarian. And there's no question. A lot of you Capricorns are going to be dealing with a Sagittarian. And when we see the energy of the tower in the rose verse is that... Um, these people know that they should have expected um, this situation because they are now, it's as if they were um, parading on uh, you um, Capricorns. You know, these people have created this issue and they thought that they were going to get away with it and was parading all over. And you're like, no, you know, this is wrong. You know, whatever you guys have done is wrong and I'm not going to be taking the blame for this and um, getting um, involved in this situation. I have lose a lot. And uh, um, this is a situation where I'm standing my ground. So, you know, you're bursting everything open and you're showing up for yourself. You're letting people be aware um, what a, a scorpion woman have done and that this person have lied. And I see heartbreak for the scorpion woman, heartbreak for a Libran. 
uh, outbreak for Leo because they recognize that a Sagittarian was the person, the Sagittarian um, is in your foundation and the Sagittarian person was the person that created this problem. So you are dealing with a lot of you are dealing with a Sagittarian with a lot of secrets. The secrets that are coming out because there's a moon in Sagittarian. Then um, the Seven of Swords in reverse also is the moon in Aquarian. So a Sagittarian that could be in power, some sort of a power um, position, have created some sort of a deceptiveness and everything is coming out. People are recognizing, they recognize that a Pisces, Cancer, a Scorpion woman had lied and everything is now coming out and they're recognizing the dishonesty um, that has crunched by and happened. So Capricorns, I'm wishing you luck. Take down this dishonorable situation and please remember to like, share, thumbs up, share these videos. I'll speak to you on the other side in order to see the extended of this reading. It's a dollar ninety nine. There are so many um 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 in the R R5. Just go check it out. I gotta go. Namaste.